Hey, it's Adam Young from Owl City. You're watching Jay. In this episode of Jang, we've got news straight from Seoul, the inside scoop on what's good on Korean television, and Jake shares a moment with NS Yoonji. Here's the man that's going to give it all to you, Jake Patrick! Yeah! I am Jake Patrick, and thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Jang. A lot has been happening in the news, so let's get into it. While season three of Mnet's singing talent show, Superstar K, had an incredible turnout with, wait for it, 1,967,267 auditions. Superstar K4 surpassed that with over 2 million people coming down to take a chance at their dreams. The famous Superstar K has risen due to the popularity of groups such as Busker Busker and Ula La Session who have debuted on the show. This fame has put judges Sai and Lee Sung Chol in a bit of a bind as they have promised to climb Chungae Mountain topless if the number of people auditioning surpassed 2 million. So, how many would have to audition for us not to see that? <laughs> <laughs> One person. Just Amos. <laughs> okay. Undi Wan is a hip hop artist and the host for the show, Show Me the Money, and an actor as well. But do you know what else he is? He's the nephew of a high profile politician in Korea. So when he tweeted angry messages at any fans, it raised eyebrows. He wrote, There are a lot of crazy out there. Did you study hard to come up with these things? Writing novels now. Ha! Even though I'm uneducated, I'm still better. I like that random. Ha! Apparently, there is an anonymous individual tweeting rumors about Unji Won's family background. And this enraged the host. Enraged him, leading him to rebut with the heated tweets. I say good for you, Ji Won. Stand up for yourself, bro. Following in the footsteps of artists such as Justin Bieber and Katy Perry, the boys of Infinite are in the process of making their own 3D concert film. Aww. The film will be comprised of various live performances of the group and will give the audience the feeling of actually being at an Infinite concert. You can all have the enjoyment of going to see Infinite without having a fan yelling right in your ear. Unless, of course, you're in the theatre with me. Sai's immensely entertaining music video, Gangnam Style, has been garnering a lot of attention in the Western media. The video, which has reached over 10 million views on YouTube, has received praise and tweets from musicians like T-Pain, Robbie Williams, and Josh Groban. Even news outlets like The Huffington Post, BBC, and CNN have taken notice of the hilarious videos. Now, if you look back at last week's episode, you might remember that Gangnam Style was featured in our very own Jang Chart segment. So, we'd just like to give Sai a friendly reminder of who made his video so popular in the first place. And we're still waiting for a thank you. Call me. Let's do some freestyle news! <laughs> Say hello to my little friend, Amos the Music Man. Yeah. What headline have you got for me today? Uh, we were just talking about Sai. And you know that guy who didn't thank us for making yeah, the song famous? I don't know what happened there. But anyways, he's doing really well this summer. He has Sai's summer stand coming up. Yeah. Um, so he's going to give out 30,000 copies of his album. He made a promise if all seats sold out, mm -hmm. he would give one for each person coming. So Topless? Uh, no, I wish, but no, unfortunately. Maybe. <laughs> you, you, never know. <laughs> you never know. It might happen. <laughs> you or him? <laughs> well, I will definitely be topless. <laughs> at the okay. Show. So your freestyle headline is, Sai keeps his promise. Buys 30,000 copies of his albums for his fans. Nice. All right, are you ready, sir? Yes. Kind of? All right, let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this time. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, yeah. It's a nice beat. Ah, 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 ah. Yo, I ain't got the style of Gangnam, but with this top I got the style of Batman. Yo, big up Psy and your generosity. If I was a fan, I wouldn't have no animosity, you see. Yeah, when the skills prevail, giving out your album, that's only gonna increase your sales. So, yeah, clever, I wonder why he's gonna do that. I don't care, big up Psy, so yeah, a Gangnam style. Let's slow it down, it's the bad boy style. Yo, 
I'm never gonna stop. So from here to a festival that's about rock. Yeah. Jesus, I'm wrong. Right, let's go. Mm. Don't you know that I'm a bad boy? Gisan Rock Festival has been held every year at the Gisan Valley Ski Resort in John Korea since 2009. This festival has brought huge acts from the west such as Muse, Weezer and the Chemical Brothers. This year's fans will get to see singer-songwriter M. Ward, electronic musician Al City and the legendary rock band Radiohead. Even Korea bands get into it with performances by Ejok, Buska Buska and Brown Eyed Girls. People attending the festival can have an amazing time for just one day or camp out for all three days of rock related shenanigans. It's great to be here, the weather is awesome as I have said. The people are all friendly, as is always the case at a Korean festival. It's a lot of different artists, both Korean and Western. So it gives the Koreans a good experience of the Western music. It gives the Westerners a chance to actually see some of the, the genre that they like represented by Korean musicians. It's a time to explore, it's a time to discover, to enjoy the music you love and to discover the music that you will love. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Hi. Um, I'm working for a program called Jang. J A. It's like J J A N G. Jang. Jang. Yeah, yeah. With my accent, is that how I say it? But you can say I, I've got an English accent, which just makes it even worse okay. for saying it. But like Jang, Jang. in Bang. Thanks. <laughs> no, yeah, that's perfect. Cool. Okay. So, uh, what do you find different about G San Rock Festival than to any other festival you've played at? It feels. I mean, it's so new for me. Um, just, just kind of playing outside. The States, for one, is, is very new for me, so it's my second time to Korea, um, and first first festival in Korea, so from what I've seen, I haven't seen a lot of it, but it seems, um, it just seems new, and I'm so excited to, to play. The Korean fans to, to date for the one show I've played were incredible, so I'm uh, really looking forward to it. Um, how do you feel about those fans in general, then, with like experiences about the times previous to this? They The, the last show I did a year ago or so, um, the fans were like all in on it before I played and they, they uh, I have a song called Dreams Don't Turn to Dust and, and they all threw glitter in the air during the chorus and I have a song called Alligator Sky and they all threw paper airplanes on the stage and just things that correlate with the music. It was like a, a birthday party, like a surprise birthday party, you know, and like I wasn't aware and it's like walk into a dark room and I flip on the light switch and everyone's like, yeah, we've been waiting for you, you know, and it was like that feeling. It was awesome. People rocking out to the festival of the music, playing games, and generally having fun. They're also just sitting in a sitting in a stream. <laughs> <laughs> However, you choose to enjoy the festivities, G San has got you covered. Here's hoping we see you in the mosh pit next time. Right after the break, Jake chats with singer NS Yoonji about life as an up-and-coming K-pop idol and find out what's hot on Korean TV. Stick around, there's more jam coming your way.